Do you or somebody you know own a GM vehicle with a 3.0 or 3.6 double overhead cam V6? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you some tips on how to keep it running well past 200,000 miles. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. I have a 2012 Chevy Impala. This motor can be found in countless GM vehicles and it went by several different option codes. This one's called the LFX. There's an LGX, an L, what is it? LLT. I'm drawing a blank with the rest of them are. I'll post a link to Wikipedia. Anyway, these engines are starting to age and people are starting to have problems with them, mainly timing chain stretch issues. The reason that happens is because A, they're either going by the oil life monitor or they're not changing the oil often enough. So tip number one, change your oil often. Go into your vehicle. This car has two trip odometers. I always set one of them to zero when I change my oil. Don't go over 5,000 miles. If you can do it at 4,000, even better. Number two, you need to use a high quality Dexos oil. I advocate for this Valvoline modern engine. I've used it coming up on two years now. When I first got the car, I was putting Penn's oil in it and it was using a quart of oil every 3,000 miles. Now, with this stuff, um, I it's very negligible. It's maybe a quarter quart, if that, probably even less than that now. The longer I run this stuff. Uh, and also, now the factory is recommending a UPF 63R filter. I think it's more for the newer engines that have auto start stop because it has a stronger anti drain back. But they're recommending rending, bleh, excuse me, they're recommending them for all three sixes and three O's. These are uh, I got them for under seven bucks at Rock Auto. The next thing you need to do, pull your engine cover. Uh, on a front wheel drive, you want to go to your your uh, valve cover that's near the firewall. And under this connector right here is your PCV valve. You're going to want to pull it out. And there are three holes on it. The one on the top, you're going to want to drill out to five sixty fourths and on the bottom side there's two smaller holes and you want to drill uh, drill them out to seven sixty fourths or my backwards I don't know I'll post a link to how you do the mod you might want to do that right away and also I take that thing out once or twice a year and clean it out with some brake cleaner or carb cleaner and then blow air through it make it nice and clean and the next thing I have installed a catch can on this car. I have videos of this. Um, when I change the regiment of the oil, I notice all this thing does now fills up with condensation in the winter, barely catches anything. So this is optional. I left it on because it's cheap insurance, but in the winter you got to empty this damn thing every thousand miles. In the warm months, it's it's you can probably go May to September without having to empty it. But anyway, those are some tips. And be sure to check out some videos I have on this particular engine. I've had the intake off. I've changed the injectors. I've cleaned the valves. So anyway, some quick tips as these cars age and fall into the hands of uh, younger people <laughs> who might not take very well care of them. Here's some advice for you. And as I said, check out my other videos. Give me a like. Subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for visiting.